This is Roy Kick Legend. Today we're going to show you a flying knee combo. I'm here with Peter today at Michigan Kickboxing Academy, and I'm going to let him explain to you one of his favorite flying knee combinations. By the way, if you like the haircut, I got that cut by Shana Rubaya at Bianchi's in Troy at John R. and Vic Beaver. So I'm not paid for these endorsements, I just wanted to give an example of good internet citizenship where we show our appreciation for local businesses that provide value to us. Check out my blog post on this. I think if you spend a little more time promoting others, you're going to find it reflects positively back on yourself. Okay guys, we're going to talk about a flying knee combo and how to set it up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw low to the body. I throw a jab low to the body. Again, my knee has to be before my head. If I let my knee go be, uh, behind my head, I'm going to be off balance. I won't be able to throw any power with my hands. This also comes in to getting the jump motion. This is extremely crucial as far as getting any success with a combo such as this. So I'm throwing low, throwing my jab. From here, I can throw my overhand. All right? My head's still within my knee, allowing me to uh, uh, develop power from my body. Right? I'm going to set up the same combo on the second time, throwing low, and instead of throwing this overhand, I'm dipping up and throwing my knee up top. The nice thing is, is this really works into the defense of the overhand. If I'm throwing low, his defense here is either covering, or his defense is the, a classical defense of a weave on the inside. So I throw one, and he weaves on the inside. The good part is, is you want to bait somebody in into weaving directly into your knee, which is a good night. One to the body, overhand. One to the body, knee. So, if you can do this successfully, it really works out in your favor. Or in general, as far as the cover, it's a good shot to the center of the body. So I'm throwing one low, my knee's in front of me, overhand, one low, up high. So at speed, jab to the body, overhand, jab to the body, up high. One overhand, one up high. So my other option is a less of a curved knee and throwing my switch knee, which would be throwing this knee up and switching in air to hit my switch knee. This is a much straighter knee and it is basically going towards the head. I'm throwing one to the body, my overhand, one to the body, and as I throw this knee up, I'm going to be switching this leg and having it go straight up the line. And up. One to the body, overhand, one to the body, and up. So guys, the whole low jab, overhand, you notice that Peter didn't tell me he was going to do it fast, I just got the pad there in time. Got to know how to hold the pads. Also, when he goes for the knee, from here I'm transitioning to this reinforced pad. He can throw whatever knee he wants if I don't throw, if I don't hold the pad too curved. Or I can react to the straight knee and train my reaction, but you do have to develop a little bit of trust. The easier way is to just hold it straight and he hits the knee of his choosing. Depending on the knee, you're basically following the head, right? So people react differently to overhands. Some people have an overhand coming at them and they do obviously the big no-no, pulling away from it, right? When they pull away from that overhand, they use their shoulder to protect themselves and pull the other side. This is where the switch knee becomes really vital because obviously you don't want to just hit them in the shoulder. So as I'm coming up with this knee, I'm switching and hitting the opposite knee, pulling over the side. They do the work for me. A lot of knees have people doing the work for you as they pull their head in and get hit by the knee coming in down, right? So I'm throwing one to the body, throwing my overhand, and then I throw one to the body, I would throw my right knee forward, right? Boom. It's a good uh, attack as far as somebody defending in those first couple ways, as far as the one to the body overhand, and then one to the body. Now as I come forward, I'm driving this knee up in the air, switching and hitting with my op opposing knee. Up. It might be hard to see from this angle, but sometimes Peter on that jumping second left knee drifts to his right side to keep that attack in center, right? Because again, if I'm leaning back this way, his left knee might hit air if there's too much gap, right? If you look at the geometry, if I'm leaning back this way, his, right, his left knee, if he doesn't really close the distance, it's a touch far. So if by coming more to the center when he delivers that knee, he's in the correct range. So, like Peter says, you do have to react to what your opponent's doing. This is Roy Peter here at Mission Kickboxing Academy. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Keep your chin down and elevate your striking.